welcome to a tutorial on how to build a 5x5 starter house in this lovely game we call Minecraft. This is the starter house right here and it's, you know, very small and pretty. It's made out of spruce and oak, although you can change up the wood types. Inside it's got, you know, a very cosy inside. It's got a furnace and a smoker as well as a stone cutter and a crafting table with a bed so that you can sleep your nice way and get away from those nasty mobs. This trapdoor could go down to wherever you want it to go, maybe it goes further down into your base or you have a storage system down there. If you can't get all the materials for these stone bricks just here, then you may want to switch it out for these spruce stairs and slabs just here. But I'm going to be building this one right here. To start off our 5x5 starter house, we're going to have three blocks of stripped spruce logs with three blocks gap in the middle. We're going to do this for all four corners of our building. Once we've got this, we're go then going to place stone brick slabs in just this formation on every single one of these wood pillars. Once we've done this, we're then going to put a slab on all of these eight blocks, just like that. So it should be looking a bit like this. Once you've done that, you're going to place three brick stairs, break this one and place one like that, break that one and put a slab like that. We're going to do this for all of these sides. So it's going to be a very symmetrical build. So once this has been done, you're then going to get your oak slabs and oak slayers. Going to place oak slabs on every one of these wooden pillars and place oak stairs just next to these stone stairs like so. This is going to happen for all of the corners. You know the drill, just keep on placing until they are. Once this is done, it should look a bit like this. And then once you've done that, you're going to place oak slabs, just like so, on all four of these bits. And you're going to place an oak trapdoor on top of them. After that, you're then going to come with some oak stairs and do a little thing like this, and then break the middle one, and these stairs should all go back to looking like this. Then what you're going to do is you're going to grab a campfire, place it in the top just underneath these slabs and put an oak trap door on the top. So the roof is going to look like this. The roof is now finished. Now it's on to the walls. So what you're going to do for the walls is place two barrels like so on either wall just like this. And then for the front side, you're going to come with some stairs and place them like so with blocks of oak wood here. And you're going to the inside and take out all four of these slabs and place them with an oak stair. So it's going to look like this. Then you come back to the front and place an oak stair upside down like that. And then you're just going to put your door in like that. The front should now look like this. Now we're going to come around to the other sides and we're going to build like this and then have a stair like that. Come around to this other side and do exactly the same. And now with this back side, it's going to be slightly different. We're going to come and have two like this, two like this, one here and one here. So that is the back done. Now it's time to put in our windows with just some glass. With just some glass. And then back here, we're going to place a trap door, just like so. So it looks like that. 
Now, this house is looking nice, but it is quite bland. So we're going to do some exterior detailing. What we're going to do is we're going to place trap doors of the spruce variety on all of the bottoms of the pillars. This gives it some nice, you know, variety in the wood. We're going to then put stone buttons on the last remaining space on the pillar. This kind of just gives us a bit of depth and some colour variety. We're then going to put some levers here. These look like they're holding up this roof and it just looks nice. We're going to do that for the same on this side but with these windowed sides we're going to put some fence gates here and open them up. Coming out of the other windowed side we're going to do exactly the same thing with the levers and the fence gates. At the back here this window is a little different deliberately but so that we can have a barrel stack on the outside just like so with a couple campfires on it as well to just look like some logs and that just gives a nice bit of you know difference to the back that is the exterior done for it just looks a lot more detailed and you know it's been livened up a bit time to do the inside of our house and it's pretty simple so you put this floor in just like this it's a very nice checkered pattern should be pretty easy to replicate with your spruce stripped logs. Then what you're going to do is you're going to place your bed here, your furnace just here, stone cutter, crafting table with spruce trap doors either side of this so you can access this and those two barrels here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to place one, two, three, four and five spruce planks. After that, you're then going to get a stone, stone brick wall and place it here, and then place another one on top. Break this slab and place one there. Break this slab as well, and then place a smoker straight underneath. So it just looks like a chimney. Now, once you've done that, because it just gets a bit dark in here when I take away my lantern, you're going to place a lantern just there and that just lights up the room a bit more. And this is the room. You can put some paintings on the side or stuff. Just put anything you want. Uh, also, you can take out that and put a trapdoor there and it just goes down to wherever you want it to go. Now, that is the house. It looks really nice and it's really easy to build. It takes literally five minutes. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, and you want to see more, leave a like. If you really enjoyed the video, go check out some more of my stuff because I'm sure you'll like it. And subscribe because it really helps the channel. And then go and leave a comment and tell me what I should do next because, you know, I like making these kind of videos. Well, and now I'm going to see you in the next video. Goodbye.